So we went to the town of Meld. We saw what happened with the dragon and how we became the Arisen. We were basically a soldier there, guarding the village. The dragon came and attacked it. Was very offended that we had defended the village, ripped our heart out and turned us into the Arisen. So let's carry on. Oh, look at the well. I wonder if we can eventually, oh no, there's nothing in there. Let's continue on with our journey here. And find the guy at the end that Lanart wants us to talk to. I think it's cool how all these NPCs have words above their head in writing. And you can just read it without having to go up and interact with any of them. But if you want to, you can interact with all of them. What happens if I give him a gift? Should I give him an apple? How odd. Hail! You a traveler? Well, I used to be a cell sword. Here's the end where we're supposed to go. There's a ladder here. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? Thanks for checking out the channel. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access oh. to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. So I don't remember being part of a guild in any kind of you wish to know situation of in the first Dark Mayhap, I can Dragon's realize. Dogma? Let's ask about thieves. It's a vocation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Well, it's a straight-up dexterity class, which is cool. Thieves favor light armor, which leaves them more vulnerable to attacks than those of other vocations. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer agility. Mm. Hmm. About mages. For those who seek to master the mystical arts, magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. Yeah, I like that. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in canting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. So I find a good combo as a fighter and a mage. Should you dedicate yourself to your vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Tis a vocation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach. Excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, ah. and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Oh. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow, an exceptionally useful long-ranged weapon. All the stealth but archers out there. A bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, the secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance between you and your foes. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. Yeah, my favorite vocation. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. The Meister's teachings. The Meister's teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Meister's teaching requires the use of a special tome which you receive if you impress the vocation. Meister with your abilities. However, the true potential of this skill can only be realized with those whose vocation rank is high enough. So you gotta work your vocation up to the top rank, I guess, and then you get a chance to get this master skill and go after it. 2,500 gold, 500 experience. 
and I learned of all the vocations. Okay, so we're still getting educated. Hi. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. Right. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? We have new attacks. Enkindle Blade. Brings the gathers together to unite, breathing them in flame for a short time. Can also be employed while clinging to a clinging to or pinning down a foe. Don't think we need that. The way I rock it, I almost always get a buff from my guys. Kind of useless for us. This one looks so sick. Shadow Cloak enables the user to blend into their surroundings, rendering them more difficult for hostile targets to attack. Less effective when attacking or dashing. Consumes stamina while active. Press the assign button to activate. Press it again to cancel the effect. And it looks like we can do some kind of like stealth attack on him too, right in the back. Helm Splitter. This is a move from the first game. Leaps up then dives through the air while spinning. Blades extended. More powerful when performed from high places. Also employable in midair. Might get that. Powder Charge. Places an explosive on the ground at the user's feet that can be detonated from afar at a moment of their choosing. Can also be employed while clinging or pinning a foe down. I like that. Consecutive step, use an explosive blast to withdraw from the point or destin detonation. Hmm. The blast may cause lightweight targets to flinch, also employable in midair. Kind of like a misdirection. Ensnare. Cast out cords to snare targets and tug on them. Pulls smaller targets together, topples larger targets that have been knocked off balance. Hmm. So for your flying foes, oops. No, back to lucky. For your flying foes, that's a good one. Scarlet Kiss, Unleash a Fury, uh, Unleash a Flurry of Forward Slashes, Controlled Fall, tucks the body into a tight roll when hitting the ground after being knocked down, allowing the user to swiftly regain their feet, reduces damage taken upon impact. When knocked down, press X, the instant you make contact with the ground. I think that's well worth it. Bump and Lift, robs the target of an item when attack connects, activates when using Carve, but has a low success rate has a chance of activating automatically when using carve. Okay, well we're definitely going to use this. This is like our thief move here. Decreases the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Hell yeah! We're going to equip that right away. Oh, well, we're not done yet. We've got 712 left. We can get one more. Which one of these is going to be, guys? Ensnare, Concussive Step, Powder Charge, Helm Splitter, Shadow Cloak, obviously. I'm silly. Okay, we're going to save. Put that on a triangle. We're going to save the rest. But we'll use some from Muad'Dib. Flagra flagration. Okay, that's his flame. We want to keep up with the flame stuff. Palladium. Conjures a cluster of magical energy that blocks up to three attacks from targets. Cluster will also dissipate after a time. Okay, it's a good defensive spell. Frigger conjures a giant pillar of ice that lingers for a period of time and can serve as a stepping stone. Yep, that's from the first one too. Man, that looks cool. Magical sigil that cures the caster and their allies. And these are just our boons. So... Core skills, focus bolt. Fires a condensed magical burst that differs based on active enchantment. Greatly hastens incantation speed, consuming stamina while active, but we want that quick spell for sure. Levitate. Manipulates the caster's weight through magical means, allowing them to float temporarily. While jumping, press X. That is so sick. So I remember that from the first game. That move is really cool. Because you can use it to not die when you fall off cliffs or jump off cliffs. Apotropazum. Augments your magic defense. Might as well throw it on. Okay. It's only 100 DEP to change. Business could be better, but I'm scraping by.
Do come again. Now what do we do? If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is, but I shan't take up any more. So, I guess that's all we had to do with him. Let's look around for a Seeker's token, because I bet you there's one in here. And there's a treasure chest. And the Scrag of the Beast, whatever. All the food and wine. Don't want any of that. Want a seeker's token? Plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. This game looks so good. No seeker's token in here. I'm bummed out. I'm bummed out. I want a seeker's token. We got three so far. Okay. So this is where you've been. Uh oh. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead? Now who the hell are you? We gather some information. Speak with Gregor. I'm following ya. Yeah, I wonder who the heck she is, guys. Where'd she come from? Timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Well, I want to look around the village for a minute. Very well. Speak with me once you've finished your preparations. I just want to fill it around here for a minute longer. Because I saw some stuff on the map up here. I think there's shops and whatnot. There's one exclamation mark. I just want to look at them. So this has to be a shop right here. Yeah. Or is this the end? This is the end. No, this is the shop. Yeah. We've talked to him already and dealt with him once. Man. Hey, stop it. So these exclamation marks are always by like a lookout tower or a watch out. I wonder what that means. Draken Ward. It means cool view up here. Come look. What's this? Copper War times five. That's big. One can see far to the distance from here. I'll gladly cast aside my fluted bow. About, yeah. Cool. If the I can't use it, here. but oh, a lot of this stuff isn't breakable. Oh, time. that is though. Interesting. Oh, this is cool. The steps don't work. Let's just put some boards up there. Here's the ballista that shot us out of the sky. We can turn it. So what are we doing while we turn it? Like, what are we turning it for? I'm just gonna keep doing it. I think we can just do it endlessly. We were over there at one point, weren't we? We'll be way over there eventually. Can I shoot it? <gasps> we can shoot it. No way. Got to hold R1. I would gladly. There's nothing to shoot though, but we're going to shoot it. Hold R1. Oh my gosh, it takes forever.
Okay. I'm like holding on to it. Do I just let it go to fire? I'm looking for something to hit with it. Let's just shoot this mountainside and see what happens. Oh, that's so cool. It's not gonna make it all the way over there, but. So I bet you that'll come in handy later. Seeker's token. Oh, yes, we got four. A thrill of discovery. 236 yeah. left, guys, and we got it. Where does this ladder go? Now it's nice not having to hit a button to jump on a ladder, it just jumps on it. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Wow. Fulgris Lord, Winter's Path, and Threshing. Now we know what that is. That's lightning. This one's the ice. This should be fire. Yep. Put our weapons away here. I don't want to scare anybody. Nice, we can load up on free green wash. Time is an ever flowing river in this world, and the activities and behaviors of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long. They only appear in the morning, at night, or at midday. To pass the time, you can either stay at an inn or make use of one of these special seats found outdoors in set locations. Come nightfall, you would be able to see no further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril, and be sure to have a lantern in your pack. Some items that can be gathered will change over time, such as by ripening and growing more flavorful. There are also items that, if allowed to age just long enough, will become more useful when combining materials. However, you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular, as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. Yeah, okay. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a set amount of time has passed. Similarly, fruits, berries, and other gatherable flora will grow back after time. So night is dangerous. Stuff will come back. Yada yada. We got it. How do I get out of here? Can I? Can I go back to the village this way? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, a totally different vibe at night. Look at this. Wow. I'm digging this. Now, what is our quest right now? What are we doing? We're gonna go rest at the inn until daytime, then we're gonna get out of here and keep going. Here, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Shall we get some rest then? Resting's expensive in this game. They make it like really important too. The other one, it was like, I think the most was 500 gold in the main city. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Here at the inn, we also offer changes of... I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. enough about me let's get rid of some of this stuff still heavy gosh
So we can definitely throw all the materials in storage because in the first game you didn't have to carry them to use them. You can use them right out of your storage. So we definitely don't need to be carrying any of those. I should have done that a little bit more efficiently, but either way. Fluted bow. We don't need that, but we're going to keep it in case we want it later for one of our other characters. Really, the rest of it's just curatives. I mean, there's not much we're going to do about that. We need all those. No, we're not resting anymore. We're getting out of here. Come again. Okay, let's carry on, guys. So we're supposed to travel with them to the capital. So I wonder if fast travel, if there's any kind of fast travel system in this. There was a little bit of a fast travel system in the first game. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Well, hurry your ass up. And I wouldn't mind there not being one, but I'm just interested in how much the game's going to change when we reach the capital. Make haste, then. We must leave an on. I'm ready. Good. Then let us be on our... Company Gregor to the capital. And off we go, guys. We're running there. Oh, look at his shield. It's got that dragon on it. Beautiful out here. Really not much stamina recovery. Sir Gregor. So I wonder what his deal is. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. How far is the capital? I don't even see it. That can't be it. That's the excavation site. We're not going down there. Must be the watch post or something we're going to. Good. Let us make for the capital. Now it's the capital where it says we're going for, but we're heading north. Man, it's out. Al is the lawful ruler of Berman. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Oh, we look inside this cave. Let's see what's here. Hold fast, Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. Yeah, well, come on. Looks like Sir Gregor will follow us in here. Uh oh, this looks like something interesting. It's a statue of something. Jasper. And a note. Tis a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secret to the patient observer. Wow. Okay, so. Obviously, we're supposed to stand somewhere around here. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. And we're supposed to look out. to be found while we're here. And there's supposed to be see that. some orc catches the light. Where? We ought to take a closer look. Where? What catches the light? I missed it. Let's just slowly pan through here, guys, and enjoy the beautiful music, the beautiful scene, and see if anybody sees anything shining. We're reflecting. It says you gotta be patient. So how long will it take between reflections? Does it depend on where our camera's looking, or is it a time sensitive thing? Every fifteen seconds, every couple of minutes. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. You sure are. Go act independently somewhere else. I'm busy. Gosh. Girls always getting bothered, man. 
Look at him, he's just like, mmm, so disappointed. It's a beautiful view. Sitting patiently will cause the secrets to reveal themselves. It means if you sit here and look long enough, you should see something. I don't know, guys. You guys see anything? Mm. Okay. Let's continue on. What are you looking at? How might I serve you, Arisen? Where ought we to go now? Well, I was hoping you knew. One of you guys were talking about seeing something. What about you? Good morrow to you, Arisen. I'll serve with the redoubled vigor this day. <sighs> Pray have patience with me, Master. I've shared all I... Where ought we to go now? Now nobody has any clue. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions. Landscape seems to unfold in all directions. Man, I love riddles like this. I love it. Gosh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? We'll go down and look at that item is what we'll do. There's a ladder down there. It just leads up to here. Hmm. Wonder what I got for you to experience. The hell? What a view. <laughs> I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. Could be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. He's as you say. Um. Hmm. That was weird. I just got some random experience by sit doing something. I'm not sure what that was, but either way, we're done looking for it. Let's grab this. We'll come back to this riddle at a later time, guys. Man, even that little fall right there really hurt. Fall damage is gnarly in this game. Seeker's token. There we go. We got five. We got five of them suckers. Putrid gold tooth. It's a sign of zombie. Oh, yeah. And there's a tomb right there. You want to bet? There's a nice looking treasure chest, so we're going down. Man, you should be able to jump at least that far and not get hurt that much. That's stupid. <laughs> I could do this all day. Could you? Wake stone shard. Be a wake stone shard. How Scrap iron. To have we ought to keep it with care, lest we lose it. Grapes are really good. And they're a combinable item in this game. Now I'm too big to fit through that hole. But okay, that was cool. Just finding this little cache. Pack's grown rather heavy. Well, let us make haste for the nearest town. I'd rather sell our pickings at market than toss them aside. Well, your aspect to grow stronger. Huh. Just random consumables. Not consumables, but craftables. We can take the goat trail up here. We could totally take the goat trail. Master. I'm coming to assist. Ah! We're both gonna go off the cliff. Come on. Oh, nice. 
There's another one of those pond wells. Oh gosh. So, I wonder if we can mark this location here on our map. Yep. Sure can, but it also has its own little marker on our map. But we're gonna put one there anyways, just so we make sure we notice it. If we lose our really strong pawn, Marika, god dang it. We'll come back and get another one. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way? Hmm. The hell? That was weird. We're battling something? What's going on here? Oh yeah, for sure. There's a Saurian. Look! I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. These things are gnarly. Look how quick they are. And they're strong. He's gonna hit like a truck. Let's get him off of it. Don't you fall in the water. Get up here. Guys, get up here. They're guarding the treasure chest, huh? Bye bye. 180 experience. It's really good. Level this up there. A wake stone shard. Nice. Now we have a wake stone, guys. In case we die, we can come back. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Yeah, no, that was great. And I'm sure there's still room for improvement. That's cool finding real usable items out in the world like wake stones, wake stone shards. Makes it all seem like it's worth it when you go around the corner and you find another chest. Or you see one up high, down low somewhere, and you want to go for it. Man, I almost jumped right off the edge, guys. Wouldn't that have sucked? Look at her. Crazy acrobat. It is somewhat lamentable that none of us are fighters. That's not complaining. We've got these three knights with us. As soon as I wait for him to catch up. Come on. I mean, I think this is the way we're supposed to be going. No, he's leading me this way. I gotta pay attention where he wants to go. There's a chest up here, I bet. No, lost money on that one. Damn stamina consumption. Plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Can never have enough green warish, guys. I like how we're doing that funny little jog in place, barely moving.
So, <clears throat> we're close. here a moment. I shall fit them open the gate. Open them for the arisen. I said open. Who's that you brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Ah! Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. Imposter. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Yeah, see. In the end, it's going to serve his own wants and needs no matter what. Come, let us pass through the gate. Okay, this is a great time. Stop this episode. We're going to continue in the next one. I'm Lucky. The channel's Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. Really enjoying Dragon's Dogma 2, guys. Loving it. I think the main story is really about to kick off here. Now, so far, we're a pawn that's lost her memory, defending a village, got attacked by the dragon, our heart ripped out, kind of like the first one. And now we're trying to find our memories and figure out what's going on. Now there's a false arisen. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next episode. Later.